This series of videos is going to show you how to set up, observe with, and shut down the 12 inch telescope, which is located in the smaller of the two domes here at the Strawbridge Observatory. So there's a few things you need to do before you go observing. Um, you obviously need to check the weather. It needs to be clear to be able to see the stars. Um, but if it's too windy, if it's so windy your hat would blow off outside, it's too windy to open the domes and you can't go observing. We need to pay attention to moisture too. We don't want to get the telescopes or the equipment wet. Um, so if there's snow on the dome, any imminent threat of rain or snow, or if it's so humid that moisture is condensing on surfaces, you can't go observing. You need to find a partner to go observing with. Uh, we don't allow students to go in the domes alone. If you're struggling to find an observing partner, please get in touch. Finally, you need a plan for your observing. Not all objects are up at night all of the year. Um, if you have a specific object that you've been asked to observe, you want to look up in advance when it's up at night, what times of night, what times of the semester. Or if you're just going observing to look at something interesting, you know, at a specific time or for public observing, um, you just want to go and use a program like Stellarium or a phone app or Heavens Above online, anything like that, to just come up with a list of interesting potential objects to look at while you're at the telescope so you're not wasting your time at the telescope. To access the domes, you're going to need a key. Uh, you'll be given one once you've demonstrated your understanding of all the steps in this video. On your way up the stairs, stop at the cupboard and collect a flashlight and a 12-inch telescope accessory box. When you reach the top of the stairs, the 12-inch will be on your left. The door out to the roof only locks from the inside. Please close it behind you. And you're gonna to wanna to prop the door to the dome open for ventilation. It'll latch when you push it fully open. If it's too windy to stay open, it's too windy to observe. There is a utility light switch to the left of the door for while you get set up. That clicking noise you hear is an ultrasonic repellent for birds and animals. Open the dome using the white cord to turn the wheel. We do this before opening the telescope so no dust falls on the uncovered telescope. To turn off the clicker, go up to the platform and unplug it. There are also more light switches on the platform. And this is also where you'll control the rotation of the dome. Now remove the plastic sheeting from the telescope. This is there just for extra protection against water damage. You can store it behind the little red door in the pier. Now remove the eyepiece cap and place it face down on the shelf behind you so dust doesn't collect in it. Find the microfocuser in the accessory box. This is going to be used to help us focus the telescope. First screw on the ring. Then use the Allen wrench to tighten the set screws. Please make sure that it is attached firmly. Now locate the corner cube reflector in the box. This is just used to change the direction of light. And you're going to uh, attach it to the microfocuser. The magnification of a telescope is set by the eyepiece. We're going to use this 26 millimeter eyepiece for a magnification of 120 times. Plug in the microfocuser to the control panel and then also plug in the hand box.
plug in the power supply, start from the outlet on the floor, and then plug it in to the control panel. Finally, remove the lens cap from both the main telescope and the finder scope and place them face down on the shelf. So now that we're all set up, the next step is going to be aligning and focusing the telescope.